Why has SpaceX been receiving so much media interest lately? Although NASA's massive rocket to the moon in 2022 disproved Elon Musk's claim to be the owner of the most powerful space-worthy rocket, the SpaceX founder is poised to regain the title with his company's flagship project, Starship. Even though SpaceX's initial two tests in April and November of last year failed, the corporation has announced that its Starship will soon complete an orbital journey, setting new records and creating history. When will SpaceX attempt this challenging task once more? Is the most awaited space event about to happen soon? Will Starship really revolutionize space travel? Join us as we explore when SpaceX Starship may attempt to fly once again. It is no longer news that the Starship is a spacecraft and rocket designed to transport large quantities of cargo as well as a large number of astronauts to faraway planets. The 400-foot-tall stainless steel tower looms over NASA's rocket, the Space Launch System. It would take about five billboards stacked on top of the latter to measure up to Elon Musk's space vehicle. According to SpaceX, the thrust of its rocket is approximately doubled. The rocket's construction is based on stainless steel, a material that Elon Musk loves for its affordability. This monstrosity uses 10 million pounds of liquid oxygen and methane as fuel, in contrast to NASA's giant moon rocket that uses supercooled liquid hydrogen and oxygen. The new fuel doesn't require as much shielding and is less likely to leak, which is a problem that frequently hinders NASA launches. It can be stored at more manageable temperatures than liquid hydrogen. The ultimate goal of Starship is to develop a completely reusable launch and landing system for missions to the Moon, Mars, and other planets. The fact that it can be reused makes space travel more accessible financially, which is why Elon Musk considers it the Space Holy Grail. How will Starship be used by NASA? NASA intends to use Starship to get humans to the Moon on two forthcoming trips, Artemis 3 and Artemis 4, which might occur as early as 2026 and 2028, respectively. The space agency has awarded SpaceX a $4 billion contract to create a Starship variant with a human landing system. The deal's conditions include the company proving it can successfully launch an unmanned lunar mission. Starship is intended to ferry humans from NASA's Orion spacecraft to and from the lunar south pole during Artemis 3. Landing on the moon by humans would be the first since 1972. Additionally, NASA has guaranteed that the mission would witness the first ever lunar landings by a woman and a person of color. The fourth voyage may see Starship dock at the future Gateway Space Station, which will orbit the moon and transport astronauts there and back. Due in large part to Starship's progress lag, NASA revealed earlier this year that it was delaying Artemis 3 by at least one year, until 2026. The SpaceX spacecraft will need to refuel from a space tanker in low Earth orbit, something that has never been done before, in order to reach the Moon. There has been a noticeable decline in NASA's faith in Starship within the last year. In August of last year, during a press conference for Artemis, NASA's Jim Free, then the agency's Assistant Administrator of Exploration Systems, told reporters that, if schedule delays continue, the agency may decide to alter the mission objectives for Artemis 3. Therefore, SpaceX needs to get the Starship's groove on. Although the company has already made two attempts to fly Starship, the space mission has not yet been completed. After its initial launch on April 20th, 2023, the rocket detonated around four minutes later, 24 miles above the Gulf of Mexico. The rocket plummeted back toward Earth after failing to detach from its massive booster. After many engines failed, SpaceX said that the self-destruct system was activated for both the rocket and the spacecraft. As the rocket detonated during its fall, several of its components fell into the ocean. Months later, SpaceX issued a more detailed explanation in which they said that the booster's back end caught fire due to fuel leaks, cutting power to the main flight computer. As a result, most booster engines' communications were lost, and eventually, the vehicle lost control. Since then, SpaceX has tightened its testing procedures for engines and boosters and put measures in place to prevent leaks. In order to mitigate damage from the launch, the company also claimed to have strengthened the launch pad, added a flame deflector, and upgraded the rocket's fire suppression system. SpaceX also offered more information about the explosion. Even though the vehicle was supposed to self-destruct, there was an unanticipated delay in activation. Hence, aerodynamic pressure, rather than the explosives, was the actual reason for Starship's disintegration. 
Officials from SpaceX have stated that they have upgraded the self-destruct system since then. It took the company seven months to get a fresh launch license from the FAA, which meant there was a seven-month gap between the first and second attempts. After the April test failed, the FDA launched an accident inquiry. Prior to doing so, it requested that SpaceX complete 63 remedial actions. Thereafter, the FAA approved the license after discussing the possible environmental impact with the US Fish and Wildlife Service. Following the successful demonstration of a new way of airborne booster separation from the spacecraft called hot staging during the second flight test on November 18th, Starship exploded approximately eight minutes into the flight. The method is designed to enhance Starship's lift capability and mitigate the effects of gravity on the spacecraft's speed. What set off the automated flight termination system has not yet been explained by SpaceX. Anyway, Elon Musk has just made an unofficial forecast that the Starship might take off again from South Texas in the first half of March in his most recent wild guess. The optimistic assessment was made most recently in a live debate on the social media platform X, when the CEO of SpaceX also shared his opinions on the craft's likelihood of entering orbit. We're getting ready to do Flight 3, the billionaire said. My guess is the second week of March. According to him, the firm is making every effort to debut before March 8th. However, he hedged by saying it could happen at some point in the first half of next month. Elon Musk described the upper stage Starship and its super heavy booster that are being prepared for launch as a much better rocket than flights one or two. But the FAA still has to give Starship the green light before it can take to the skies again. The FAA has indicated that SpaceX has not yet turned in its report on the failure that happened on November 18th during the second integrated flight of Starship and the Super Heavy rocket. Before the FAA will relicense the vehicle, SpaceX, which just changed its place of incorporation from Delaware to Texas, must also finish making the required modifications to the rocket. So what should we expect from the next Starship flight? The schedule for the upcoming Starship flight will follow that of the previous test. The SpaceX test facility located close to the Texas community of Boca Chica will be used to launch a set of super heavy rockets as well as a prototype Starship. Following detachment, the booster will do a partial return maneuver before touching down in the Gulf of Mexico. The prototype Starship, meanwhile, will gain enough velocity to enter low Earth orbit and will complete an imperfect orbit around the planet. A few miles off Kauai's northwest coast, the spacecraft will fire its engines, enter Earth's atmosphere and then be splashed into the water in the Hawaiian Islands. The primary objective of the test right now is to try to refuel in space for the first time. What is Starship's chance of success? It wasn't totally surprising that SpaceX failed on its first and second try at flying. During the live launch broadcast of the first flight, firm quality systems engineering manager Kate Tice commented, we cleared the launch tower, which honestly was our only hope. A number of SpaceX's Starship incomplete prototypes have crashed or detonated during their practice landings, but in May 2021, one managed to make it back safely, having traveled around six miles into the sky. And when it comes to the reality of spaceflight, Elon Musk doesn't mince words. He once predicted that Starship's space test wouldn't be successful the first time around. Meanwhile, he expressed his belief that they will advance significantly. Administrator Nelson also praised SpaceX for the audacious endeavor, noting that historically, great accomplishments have necessitated some level of calculated risk. According to regulatory papers, the next test flight of the massive booster rocket requires it to separate around three minutes after takeoff and land in the Gulf of Mexico. After that, the rocket is supposed to orbit the planet at a height of more than 150 miles before erupting off the coast of Hawaii. The entire trip ought to take roughly 90 minutes. In the coming years, NASA will rely on this hardware demonstration to return humans to the moon. And if it works, Elon Musk will have taken a baby step towards fulfilling his lifelong ambition of constructing a metropolis on Mars. What does SpaceX want to do on Mars? The SpaceX founder's ultimate vision is to use a fleet of starships to send one million people to Mars by 2050. To be clear, Elon Musk wants to build a self-sustaining metropolis rather than just a tourist destination. He fantasizes about a Mars that, with a little warming, could have oceans and a thick atmosphere again, making it a more habitable planet that could support food cultivation. The spacecraft would have enough room for 100 passengers, their belongings, and building materials for iron foundries, residences, businesses, and rocket fuel stations. 
According to Elon Musk, although the trip there would be lengthy, the passengers would enjoy zero gravity activities, movies, lectures, and a restaurant on board the Starship. According to him, it should never seem stifling or dull. Would you like to be a part of that? Let us know what you think in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and put on notifications for more videos. See you soon.